Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're journeying back in time to 1981 to examine a pivotal moment in engineering history, the Hyatt Regency walkway collapse. This tragic incident underscores the critical importance of meticulous engineering practices and the dire consequences of neglecting them. Our story begins in May 1978 with the construction of the Hyatt Regency Kansas City Hotel. Despite numerous challenges and delays, the towering 40-story edifice opened its doors to the public in July 1980. One of the hotel's defining features was its multi-story atrium, adorned with elevated walkways suspended from the ceiling. These steel, glass, and concrete walkways, each measuring around 37 meters, 121.4 feet, long and weighing approximately 29,000 kdlis, 63,934 pounds, connected the second, third, and fourth floors from north to south. Fast forward to the evening of July 17, 1981. The atrium of the Hyatt Regency was a buzz with around 1,600 people attending a tea dance. At approximately 7.05 p.m., a loud crack echoed through the atrium as the fourth-level walkway, laden with about 40 people, dropped several inches before plummeting onto the second-floor walkway. This catastrophic collapse resulted in the tragic loss of 114 lives and left 216 others injured. The root cause of this disaster can be traced back to the construction phase, where an apparent design flaw was identified. The original plan called for six steel hanger rods to run directly from the second floor walkway to the ceiling for support. However, the steel manufacturing contractor raised objections to this design, as it required rods to be screw-threaded to hold the fourth-floor walkway in place. In response, the contractor proposed a new plan, a set of tie rods connecting the fourth-floor walkway to the ceiling, and a separate set connecting the second-floor walkway to the fourth-floor walkway. This modification meant that the upper hanger rods of the fourth-floor walkway bore double the load initially intended. This seemingly minor design change critically undermined the safety of the structures. In the aftermath of the disaster, the engineering company was convicted of gross negligence, misconduct, and unprofessional conduct, leading to the loss of its national affiliation and all engineering licenses in four states. However, it was acquitted of criminal charges. This disaster served as a catalyst for numerous lessons and reforms in engineering ethics, safety, and emergency management. The Hyatt Regency walkway collapse serves as a stark reminder of the critical role engineers play in ensuring public safety and the devastating consequences that can arise from neglect and irresponsibility. As we conclude today's video, Let's remember the lives lost in this tragedy and the invaluable lessons it taught us. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful engineering content.